Aloha Ohana. Pastor Lemomilani here. Hope you guys had a beautiful and blessed day. Alright, so this video, I just want to reach out and tell you guys this, okay? Like, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, check out my content. Please subscribe, like the video, engage, share the video. But most importantly, elevate your ears to the word of God and work on your personal relationship with the Lord because that's the most important thing, okay? Because you can watch all different type of people talk about, you know, the word of God, share the word of God. But in order for you to work on that personal relationship, you got to dive in there yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to open open the Bible. You don't want to go inside there. You don't want to talk to the Lord. You the one going to have to do them and work on your salvation on your own. You know what I mean? Because your relationship with the Lord is an intimate and personal one. Okay? It's an intimate and personal relationship that you need to seek. You need to knock. You need to ask, and you will find in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Okay. So, God bless all of you subscribers. Thank you guys so much, okay? And so, it's been seven months now, okay, that I started this YouTube channel. Um, I've been growing as I go, okay? So, I'm a work in progress. I'm learning how to do all of this, okay? The Lord is just working with me. Praise God, okay? So I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching my videos and engaging and as much as possible um, if you guys could um, like the videos to um, help get the, art, the algorithm going I guess and comment if you if you feel like it I appreciate it all um, and I love you guys all so much okay I mean it is so awesome. I I I really enjoy doing this for the Lord, you know, like this really, really <sighs> lifts my spirits up. For example, say like I'm I may not be having such a great um maybe I might feel tired, okay. Say if I'm feeling tired, but then I know I get something that the Lord when put on my heart to share. So I'm going to prayer, I'm gonna lift them up, right, to the Lord. And ask the Lord for strengthening me to push on through and for deliver the message in his holy and mighty name. And I plead the blood of Jesus over the message. Yeah. And then as I start going, as it's recording and the message is coming out, the Holy Spirit is taking over and leading me and guiding me through. In Jesus' name, I can feel myself being washed, renewed, and strengthened. And everything is just flowing out freely. All in Jesus' name. And holy, all in His holiness and His mighty name. Amen. God is so good. So, my channel, I like to encourage you to study. Not fulfill your carnal mind, but fulfill your heart. Fill this up with the Word of God. Amen. Talk to Him. When you don't understand, it's okay. Don't put yourself down because you don't understand something. Because guess what? We all don't understand. We all don't understand. We got to ask the Lord. For his understanding because it's not our own understanding he wants us to lean on right he wants us to lean on him he wants us to trust in him he is the one that leading and guiding us through the word of god is a lamp to your feet amen so work on your personal relationship with the lord thank you guys for being here and i'm going to go ahead and read to you second corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 okay it is written while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Praise God. Okay. So as you're reading the scripture, then you look, you see the words on the pages. But in your heart, it's like, you absorbing it's like each word each word is on seed and your heart is just absorbing them all like one root all the nutrients that each word is giving off from those pages is filling you up jesus is filling you up with his living waters to sustain you why because his love is sufficient for you and it's by grace we are able okay 
It is by grace we are saved. It is by grace we are loved. It is by grace we are able to stand. Amen. Amen. So God is good. So I'm going to read another scripture to you, okay? So 2 Corinthians um, chapter 5, verse 7, okay? I'm going to read 7 and 8. It is written, For we walk by faith and not by sight, okay? We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord, okay? So what does that mean to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord? Okay. To be absent from the body is to deny the flesh, okay? Like we went over, I think, so I went over this in like two videos already. The Lord increase and I decrease. The more you decrease, decrease, and the more you lift the Lord up, and the more you put the Lord first, and the more you know that He is not only to be lifted up, but He is your foundation. He is that solid rock that you stand on, steadfast, unshakable. So when the Lord shake, Everything that was not meant to be, everything that is dead, everything that is useless, everything that has no purpose for him will fall away. Amen. So the Lord is, the Lord is telling you right now, guys. The Lord is going to shake. The Lord is going to shake loose. And everything that no belong to him will fall away. The Lord is gonna do some shaking. The Lord is gonna shake stuff up in your life, and the things that is falling away, don't cling to it. Let them go. Amen. God has something better for you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, be steadfast. For our afflictions is only momentarily. For this world, we are only soldiers here. Hold on tight to Jesus with all your might. And it is by his strength that we are still here today, pushing and fighting the good fight. And how do we mount up? We mount up and we fight in our prayers. We take a stand in our prayers, praise God. Because it is the Lord who fight for us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for pushing us through, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for pouring your love upon us. Thank you, Jesus, for having patience with us. Praise God. God bless all my brothers and my teachers out there in Christ. Thank you, Jesus. We are one body in Christ, gang. Okay? What Jesus did majority of the time, he gave, gave, he kept giving. He kept giving, he kept giving, and he kept giving. Yeah. To some, it wasn't enough. To some, it didn't make sense. To some, it was nonsense. nonsense. To some, it was blasphemy. To some, they thought he was crazy. And there's people out there in the world right now that think the same way, like how they did towards Jesus. They think the same way towards us. <laughs> But God is good. We know the truth. And we don't know because our carnal mind, what we get over here, that's why we know. No. We know because of the things that we do not see here. But the things that we do see, we know is carnal. But the unsee, we see what they don't see. Amen. Because that's the Holy Spirit discerning for us. We see in the Spirit. Praise God. So when I was younger, yeah, thank you, Jesus. I will share this with you guys, guys. So when I was younger, I always ask a bunch of questions as a child. I asked a lot of questions. And majority of the questions wasn't, oh, why? I went into depth, okay? Like, I would blow all the adults their minds with my questions. And my grandma used to ask me a lot of questions. She would ask me about my dreams, you know, if I dreamed in color, what happened, how I felt, and all of this. 
So my grandma used to tell me stories as I was little. She used to make up stories for me every morning when I woke up. See, other kids, they get bedtime stories. I got stories when I got out of bed in the morning, starting my day off with one beautiful, creative adventure. Amen. So at the time, I was the youngest grandchild. I didn't have my brother yet. I was the youngest grandchild, and I was only in diapers. And all my other cousins were older than me. So, of course, they don't want to hang out at home and play. They all went and go play. And that was a different time. It wasn't dangerous like how it is nowadays. You cannot let your kids pretty much do what we used to do back then. Okay? Back then, you you know, you could, you could come home late at night and your parents already know where you stay because you stay at somebody's family house right off the road. Nowadays, it's like, you know, kind of sketchy about just letting your kids just go wherever, you, you know. Nowadays, these kids get cell phone. Back then, I got a cell phone. How you knew where your friends was? You would go ride your bike to your friend's house. You know where everybody was because you see all everybody's bike park outside the front. So that's how you know. And then you can hear everybody screaming and playing. Amen? Nowadays, you, you don't even see kids outside playing. All the kids is in the house playing video games. You know what I mean? It's different. It's not like before, you know, these kids nowadays, they don't know what is dirt. They don't, they don't know what to do without care. If all the, if the electric all went out, all these kids would be bored out of their mind. They wouldn't know what to do. You take them to the beach, they're going to be happy because of course all kids like go beach, okay? All kids enjoy the beach. But you're going to get some kids, they only can handle it for like maybe an hour, two hours. After that, they're already fiending for the video game. They're fiending for the video game already. They're not really those outdoorsy type of kids. And those kids who like always be on the video games, majority of them they end up becoming antisocial, antisocial, um, end up get allergies, you know what I'm saying? Look like they was in a cave for a long time because they stay like, you know, looking pale and stuff, like oh bags under the eye, like that. Bro, you eat, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta give our kids nature. But not like, it's not like how you can be like, oh, go outside and go play. No, parents, we got to go out there and engage with them. Okay. So back to when I was younger. Everything on tie in, in Jesus' name. So back to when I was younger. So my grandma used to tell me these stories. So since I was the baby, out of all the grandkids, I was only the baby. I was always playing by myself. I never had nobody to play with. Okay. So I always remember being outside. Looking at the chickens, feeding the birds, our rice, and um, playing in my pool all by myself. And just enjoying myself and being in one whole nother world all by myself, okay? By the grace of God, I know Jesus was right there with me the whole entire time, all my life. Thank you, Jesus. But then, there was another part where, because I was very sickly when I was a child, where I was, I remember always being in the bathtub with ice water, with ice in the tub. And I was always in the tub. And I was always sick. And I was by myself. And I never had nobody over there with me, consoling me and checking on me. I was in there by myself. Outside playing by myself. Sick in the tub was not laying on my bed they trying to break my fever or whatever is going on with me at that time okay but in the midst of all of that i could remember feeling like losing consciousness like being in the in-between like as if like how i it's hard to explain like i could feel shapes geometrically as i was fading in and out I don't know how to explain that, but that's how I felt. Like I could feel like I was in the in-between, like where the Lord had me, like where he was, pre he preserved me. I don't know how to explain it, okay? But anyways, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here today. It's all by your grace, Lord. But the whole point of me bringing that up is we tell our kids go outside, go play. But parents, we got to engage with them. Amen? Yeah? Okay. So for me... I got so used to 
to being on my own all the time to where now as an adult I'm okay it just being me but I had to learn Jesus had to take me back to my childlike state not mine here my childlike state my true inner essence that was always there amen okay the lord had to take me back to that for me to be okay for me to acknowledge for me to accept and for me to heal and for me to grow the lord had to take me from all those years now from when i was one kid to now the in between there was a lot going on there was a lot pastor Lemo milani did there was a lot pastor Lemo milani didn't do that wanted to do but didn't do and did stuff that i didn't want to do there's a lot in the in between and i'm pretty sure you had a lot going on in the in between too but by the grace of god jesus christ has made the way for us Therefore, he the one fill up the in-between. He the one will fill in for you on that cross for all your sins. By his stripes we were healed. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So the Lord will teach me not confidence in myself, but the Lord will bless me with his confidence. Hence why I make my videos now and I and I and I enjoy it and I love it. So awesome. The Lord then blessed me with his strength. Hence why, even though when I was going through some really tough times, I still showed up, took a stand, and when delivered a message that the Lord put on my heart. Amen. I am persevere in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is a deliverer. Amen. Jesus Christ is a healer. Amen. Jesus Christ is a way maker. Praise God. Oh, Hannah, don't give up. No give up, no matter what it is, no matter who it is, no matter what is going on in the neighborhood, it is all good. Because Jesus Christ already took care of what was broken, you thought, what was shattered, you thought. But what does it say right here? Okay. Well, we look not at the things which are seen, okay, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Therefore, that's why when we elevate our ears to the word of God, okay, the Holy Spirit ministering to our heart, mind, body, and our soul. Amen. And remember now, you are living temple of God. God's spirit is right here in here with you. Every step you take, every way you go. Amen. Amen. The Lord fight for you, but you got to stand and you got to take a stand for yourself and you got to pray. Okay, gang, I, I cannot stress this enough. It's very important that we pray, we pray, we keep on praying and we don't cease. We continuously pray. Okay, you don't got to be fancy with your words. Okay, mm -mm. okay, because we don't need finesse Jesus Christ. He see right through all of that. We just need to be truthful and sincere of what we're asking and what we're saying amen okay 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 so the lord the lord has worked in my life in awesome ways okay and i'm gonna be honest with you guys it is a blessing to be here sharing with you the word of god and being able to share with you my experiences 
and what the Lord has done for me personally. Okay. Um, it is a blessing. It is a blessing. There's many of times where I literally died and the Lord has saved my life. <sighs> time and time and time again. God is good. God is good. Okay, so <laughs> the Lord wants you to soar high. Okay. The Lord wants you to soar high. No worry about how high you won't go. He's going to take you to levels, to elevations that only eagles can go. Not pigeons, not minor birds, not chickens, not no finches, but only eagles. When an eagle is in flight, the only other bird an eagle is going to see is an eagle. Amen. Amen. And the Lord wants you to believe. Believe that your, answer, your, your prayers are being heard. Because he hears all your prayers. Believe that your, your prayers will be answered. In the mighty name of Jesus. And he wants you to know that you are capable. Praise God. You are capable. Because he is the one who makes you able to stand, able to push forward, able to release whatever it is that is weighing heavy on your heart. Because without him, we wouldn't be able to release it. It would be with us forever. But we the one got to learn how to let go. So the Lord wants you to believe that your prayers are being heard. The Lord wants you to not only soar, but lift your voice up and call out to him. And give it to him. Give it all to him. Okay, and mind me, I was looking at my notes because when I was outside, the Lord has been speaking to me. Um, it just has been a very, very, very beautiful day. I mean, for real. Okay. The Lord says, take a leap of faith. Okay. I know some of us may feel like they, um, <laughs> like on baby bird stage where you're in the nest. And your mama bird, the mama bird is like nudging you. Go ahead, you know, your first flight lesson, your first day that you're going to be flying. But the Lord like you know that today is not your first day to fly. You had your wings and all your feathers for a while, and you know that. So he wants you to take a leap of faith and that you will not fall. Okay, he got you every step of the way. Trust and lean on the Lord with all your substance. And his love is sustainable and sufficient for you okay the lord is the one who's going to teach you how to be sustainable in his love by his grace amen you don't want to be self-sustainable thinking oh i got this i got this i got this using your carnal mind to always try and figure it out the lord got you the lord wants you to clear it out ask him for clarity Ask him for strength because he is the one who gives you strength. You don't want to operate out of your own strength. Amen. Give it to him. Everything and anything that you feel like yourself is starting to want to control it. If you can do something about it. Okay. But if it's something that is out of your control. Give it to God. Amen. Give it to God. He wants you to trust. Trust, okay? So if you're trusting and leaning on the Lord for all the things that, you know, we cannot see, we walk in by faith and not by sight. We put in our hope. We know that Jesus Christ is our hope, our only hope, basically. He is our salvation. Jesus Christ is the only one that can offer you true peace, offer you love by grace. He's already made the way for you. Amen. Keep on shining, Ohana. Keep on shining. Keep on smiling. Keep keep your head up. Keep your head up. Chin up. Praise God. Elevate your voice to the Lord. Elevate your ears to the Lord. Amen. He is the one who breathed life into you. Amen. 
He loves you and His love is sufficient for you. And I love you too. God bless you and your ohana. Go ahead and study the word for yourself and work on your personal relationship with Jesus Christ, okay? Because that is very important, guys. Work out your own salvation with the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you and your ohana. Amen. Aloha.